It's a Saturday and I'm about to leave this mansion of a house. It was fun. I got to cook here and enjoy the bigness of it. It's in nature and I can smell all the nature out here. The pines. There's bears around here. They ate the garbage. And of course the pups. I'm at Empire Mine State Park where we're gonna learn how to mine gold. Collared cowgirl. Hi everybody. It's Kaylee. Welcome to my town. Giddy up. This is where it all happened back in 1849. Actually 1848. 49 just sounds better on the tongue. So this is where they tell the price of gold. And back in what, 1850 it was $20.67 per troy ounce. Let's go in. Check it out. So what about these? Are these original buildings from the gold mining era? Yeah, this one right here is the office. It'll take you inside. So these are all the actual machines they used to use. There's the jail where everybody used to go and stealing other people's gold. I guess we're going to the shaft. Yeah, well, if, you were, if you were a miner back in the day, you'd have to get on your cart way up high like that. Go down. The main entrance to the Empire Shaft. Well, let's try it out. I'm really claustrophobic, so let's see how far I can go. Oh, this is as far as we go. You can see down in there. They blocked it off. How are we going to get gold if they keep blocking things off? So if I was a miner back in the day, I'd have my little hard hat on. Yep, and, and you'd be I'd coming be down here. Sitting down here with like 18 other men. And you'd be coming down here, SS Georgie, and then you'd go down in there. We all float. Guys, this is the shaft that goes down to the gold. And I guess it goes down about 4,000 feet or so, and then it drops down even more. So almost a mile. And then it's filled with water, so we can't get to the ridges unless you can breathe underwater. And it's probably pretty cold down there, too. But it's blocked off, so we're going to have to find another way to get some gold today. Let's go back up. We still haven't found any gold, but I'm not giving up. Correction, the mine that we were just in goes down to a total of two miles. No wonder it's closed off. You could get lost in there and never get out. You might have a lot of gold, but what are you going to do with it all? This mine is the, is the biggest mine in the entire world for gold. According to her, if I'm wrong, it's her fault. Okay, so now she's changing what she said to this being the most money was produced from this mine. So it might not have been the biggest mine, but a lot of gold was taken out of here. It's a, it's a part of gold mining. You got to pound and pulverize. Have you found any gold here? No, it's been closed for a long time now. How old are you? It was closed before I was born. Oh, this is just a small house that he owned. Born, the guy that found this gold mine. This is where he lived. So Mr. Bourne, and I'm not talking about Jason Bourne, I'm talking about the Bourne that founded this gold mine. He loved all things botanical. And that's why he created this botanical garden. How big that tree is. Let me show you how big it is. You can't drive cars in the gold mines because they didn't have cars back then. Silly. This is a movie theater because they used to watch movies back when they mined gold. The Deloro, which is a uh, movie theater, every Wednesday night they play Gremlins. Are you kidding me? Shaft. You can tell that people dug up gold in this place. I'm at the Yuba River. See what the water did to these rocks?
That sky though, seriously. What do you say, you wanna go down there and check it out? Let's go. We're going down the Yuba, it's time. All the swallows. So we're gonna try to get down through these rocks and hope we don't die. I hope I don't fall. You think I can do it? Let's find out. I'm not wearing the best sneakers for this. We're, we're making our way down. I made it. I'm gonna go to the sand dunes, I guess. I'm vlogging from the bottom of the Yuba. Rocks are kind of slippery, but I made it down here. My other camera died. Actually, the memory ran out. I don't know what's up with that. But there's, uh, there's puppies in the water over here behind me. There's a puppy swimming. So yeah, this is the bottom of the Yuba. All right, I've learned all I can today from the gold mining um, state park. And I'm gonna try to do a little gold mine. I didn't get any gold pans because all the places were closed and I'm leaving. So this is my last resort. I'm gonna look for gold right here in the Yuba. So here we are. This is a nice smooth rock. It's gonna allow me to get out here without wearing any boots. So I'm just gonna put my foot right there and that's gonna allow more room for me to gold mine. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of this. Oop, I think I already found one. So I've already found a nice nugget of gold. Um, you just want to kind of get all the other stuff out there. The gold is heavier, so it's going to go to the bottom. And you're just going to use your hands until you can find the right. See, already I've got some. Okay, so I got a, I got a rock of gold. These can be used to make jewelry. This looks kind of like a meteorite that hit back in the days of the dinosaurs, at least a hundred years ago, uh, when dinosaurs ruled the earth. This was laying right there for me. Another nugget of gold. So so far. We've got a couple nuggets of gold and some diamonds and this meteorite. Actually, I'm gonna go down to Nevada City in town and get these appraised. And I will see you guys in the next vlog.